Hey everybody, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I know it's been a while, but between work and working down here, it doesn't leave a lot of time for working on the video. So, I'll do what I can, try to post some more stuff, but nothing earth shattering yet. The motor's efficient. You can see I reoriented the motor uh, completely. I've, I've tried a few different generators on the back end. Um, I've got one more design to do. And uh, the motor, as far as charging batteries, is extremely efficient. No problems at all. It, I can bounce the batteries back and forth. The batteries have been conditioned weeks, two weeks, bouncing the batteries back and forth, not a problem. But it does reach a plateau where it seems it's lost the electrons and it just doesn't seem to charge the battery the same. So it reaches a point where the battery is no longer being charged efficient, efficiently as it was in the beginning. So, you know, there is a little loss there, so that loss is accumulative. It's a very small amount, but it is accumulative. So, and that's without a generator. That's just running a straight pulse motor without a generator. Uh, if you've been following these videos, you can, you know that um, this motor is able to make a high torque. Um, I don't really have a problem with the torque. Um, I've had it up to pushing 10 amps through the motor without a problem. So um, right now in this configuration it's drawing about an amp. It's outputting about 1.2 amps uh, in the series parallel configuration. But the input is at 36 volts. The output is in 12 volts in parallel with three batteries. So it's being divided over three batteries as opposed to running three batteries in series at 36 volts. The output's being output at 12 volts. And if any of you have done the Ohm's, Ohm's calculations there, you know that this, it's not over unity, even though amperage wise it is showing you higher amperage. Now let's take a look a little closer and I'll show you the amperage and I'll try to explain a little more of what I'm talking about here. Okay, you can see the top meter is 35.1 volts and the bottom one is 12.79 volts. So the top one is the into the motor and the bottom one is the output, the charge output. And calibrate this real quick. And at 36 volts we're getting it's consuming one 1 1.7 amps we'll say. So that's going into the motor. Now, out of the motor is 1.31, say 1.29 amps out of the motor. It's going in at 1 amp, a little over 1 amp, and coming out a little over 1 amp. Now, you might think that's over unity, but do the calculations, it's not. It's impressive. Bedini hit on something here, but it's not over unity. Just wanted everybody to see where the VMG is at this moment. The motor design is extremely efficient. Don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of John Bedini and his work. I've saved many a battery with the pulse motor concept, um, but 
The biggest drawback I've, I've found is efficiency of the motor, and if you look at any commercial motors, is the coil design. And if you look at a common motor now, uh, the distance and how it's arranged allows a maximum amount of torque, where this design, even it's only briefly pulsing, you're losing a lot of energy based on the design. You know, it's home built, it's not, not highly machined, so the coil should be, you know, should be using uh, transformer laminar plates, you know, and be, you know, millimeters from the wheel. And that's going to give you the optimum amount of torque. And this motor isn't like that, and neither are any of the other pulse motors that are being built out there. Um, the recapture part of the circuit is outstanding. No problems at all. Uh, I'm going to mount uh, the generator here on the back of this. I removed it so I could show you those settings. But um, give me a moment and we'll, I'll come right back with the the latest generator mounted.